Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair growth story slash how I kind of get my long relaxed hair. So my hair is relaxed and it's colour treated um, and at the moment it's kind of bra strap length. I'm going to try and show from the front if I kind of move back a bit, move up. It's curled now, but if I kind of pull it straight, you can see. I didn't know a lot about kind of curl type and curl patterns and stuff like that because I relaxed my hair in, it was probably 2006. So I was 16 years old and I was finishing school so I was doing my GCSEs and I always liked to wear my hair curly so it was kind of big it was curly I didn't really know about a lot of different products that I could use and I felt that especially in the UK maybe the products were maybe quite limited or my personal knowledge about what I should be using in my hair was quite limited and that was simply because my mum she has afro hair so she would never be using those type of products so growing up i had all the tools to have kind of healthy nice hair and my hair was always in cane rows and plaited back my mum would always kind of do my hair really nicely but as i was getting older i wanted to have my hair in different styles so you know you kind of want to be thinking um oh, i want to like be able to like flick my hair about and do all sorts of stuff and you can't really do that when you have like cane rows going back especially my mum's weren't the best so I'd always try to get my sister to kind of give me that like Alicia Keys look you know when you had the two kind of coming forward with the beads on and stuff like that um so yeah I, I was wearing my hair curly but I would do that by just putting loads of like gel and like wet products into my hair and my mum didn't think that was very good for for my hair and from doing that and looking at pictures, um, I kind of have one picture online, so I'm going to be able to put it in here. And I would say that my curl type was like a 3C. So at the top, it was curlier than kind of the bottom. There was kind of a part of the bottom where the curls were kind of quite looser, um, or a lot looser. And that would help to kind of give more length kind of to the look and the top was kind of more scrunched up but it was definitely like curls and that was with the gel just gel um so long story short my mum suggested it because she had a relaxer that I get my hair relaxed so yeah as I was saying both my um my hair although it was 3c a lot of people have kind of different kind of hair types both my parents are from Jamaica and so kind of there's mixture in the heritage but I am full black so I it was just a normal thing for me to get a relaxer so, after I got my hair relaxed it was it was going quite good my hair was like really long a family friend would relax my hair and she'd been doing hair kind of professionally in a salon and then she was working teaching at a um at a college and so she would relax my hair and I'd always kind of maintain the length of my hair but she would never style it how I wanted to so I was slowly damaging my hair by after going to her having my hair relaxed and um having heat on my hair to straighten it into um, like press it out I would then be going home and using my own straighteners to change the way that it's kind of styled after a while she could no longer kind of um, fit us into her schedule and so I had to find another hairdresser and this is where the problem started to arise because I was seeing different people to relax my hair and I went to university and all this stuff so I would ne try and keep it to 10 weeks to relax my hair and I'm not sure if I started to kind of widen that gap but also I was probably seeing kind of 
hairdressers that weren't the best people for me to be seeing to do my hair and I wasn't treating my hair the best so if it was just one of those factors then I think that kind of your hair can be quite resilient and make it through it but I had kind of three things going against me and I think um, the two main things it wasn't the length of duration I was leaving my hair I don't think that was having the worst effect it was me putting heat on my hair kind of continuously so I was really really loving the kind of really sleek straight style and when you wake up in the morning no matter how much like you circle wrap your hair like I just wasn't getting the results that I personally wanted yeah it was straight had that little bend and stuff no I wanted it dead straight so from straightening it and straightening it all the ends of my hair were so like fizzling and fraying and then the hairdressers because I was going to different people I was just getting more and more cut off my hair so I'd go in and I'd want a trim and then they'd end up like cutting off like this much of my hair and so by the time I went back um, for my relaxer like 10 weeks later my hair had maybe grown I don't know like this much again and then they end up kind of cutting it even shorter so it was kind of each time it would grow back but not ever quite how long it was and then a bit more would even get cut off and so that process kept on going on and more and more and more of my hair was getting cut off until I've like written written it down here um in March 2012 I've got a picture and my hair was this short and that was I'd say it was even shorter actually it was my hair was this short and that wasn't because I wanted a nice Kim Kardashian long bob this was just from my hair breaking and being cut and gradually and gradually and gradually getting shorter so so my boyfriend said to me your hair is is actually getting shorter and shorter so you need to think is that what you want or do you need to kind of maybe think about doing something different and around the same time um i moved house and so this is after i finished uni and i'd moved house again and i started seeing a different hairdresser so i looked up on online to find out the best best hairdressers around me for for kind of relaxing hair and when i went to my new hairdresser they were using um mizani so it's more expensive than the usual relaxer i was getting but because my hair was slowly getting shorter and shorter i thought i'd try it and my the overall condition of the hair that i had left i felt my that my hair was really like always would come out like silky and shiny um the ends yeah they they looked a bit straggly in places but i'd been getting it cut so much that a lot of that was gone and so i started going to this new hairdresser and at the same time i decided that i wasn't going to touch my hair so in between having my hair done the only time i would put heat on my hair is straight after washing it which was really really hard for me because i was used to singeing all of my hair out so i i basically got out of the habit of having that bone straight hair at first I was circle wrapping my hair and then I decided that it was just easier for me to wear it in kind of more of a curly hairstyle. So obviously these are kind of curls put in with a, a straightener. This is my hair um, a week after having it relaxed. So my hair was relaxed a week ago. I The only part that I've manipulated is this front section here where I've used a bendy roller um because that section kind of falls out but the rest of these curls this has remained since i had my hair relaxed on monday last week and it's monday again today so i was going to this new hairdresser i stopped applying heat to my hair and then i was seeing it grow and then i just thought I'm not even I'm not gonna brush my hair this was what I personally did I don't 
think that everybody would kind of go for this method but I was really desperate for my hair to grow back and so to stop snapping off any little pieces of my hair to stop making me even want to kind of reach for the heat I just stopped brushing my hair literally so I just to go to bed I'd just grab my hair I'd circle it up like this pin it go to bed wake up fluff it out done I kind of like, switched up my pro the products I was using but not to an extent that I think that that was the reason that my hair started to grow I do genuinely think that not using the heat and not brushing my hair and changing my salon they were the things that were working for me so after a while I started to kind of watch more YouTube videos and I picked up a few different tips as well that I started to kind of implement but that was when my hair was kind of at this length and that's I think helped me kind of get this extra length so that's going to be kind of the second part of the video so that was kind of like my hair growth story and now this is how I maintain healthy um kind of mid bra strap length relaxed hair